President William Ruto and as mayor re leader Raila Molodinga. There must be the principle of concurrence is built in here. And anybody trying to touch on that so that you don't wake up and find that William Ruto uh, using uh, powers that he assumes he may have will choose a team favorable to Kenya Kwanzaa. And so this, this is a, a good example. But when it came to fidelity, fidelity to multi-party democracy, as we speak, we are seeing aggression still continuing, aggression against Jubilee, a very important member of this coalition. And, 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 and when we last checked with William Ruto, he seems to believe that uh, Jubilee was his party. <laughs> Now, we must remind him that his party is called Kenya Kwanzaa. Or oh, is it Uda? It is Uda. Then the coalition is Kenya Kwanzaa. We're also seeing an attempt to claw back on, on, on the very important matter of coalition building. And you know we made strong recommendations with regard to the office of the registrar of political parties. That instead of leaving it to one person, be a commission, a team. Please do not allow anything different from that. If you are going to face the future, future elections with a the, with the measure of confidence, and if you are going to safeguard multi-party democracy. But ladies and gentlemen, remember, we started, this matter was a product of serious pain and agony and death by Kenyan people. On the streets, a year ago, the culmination I think was about April, which is what brought some sense to Kenya Kwanzaa, and they agreed to discuss. We lost over 72, or thereabouts, young Kenyans. We are not even allowed to honor them by having some requiem masses. Remember, remember where we come from, the product. We are actually riding on the lives of Kenyans as we sit here this morning. We can't afford, therefore, to let them down. Uh, so, our friends from Conrad believe that, um, believe that uh, uh, we should continue to deepen our democratic gains. And so, that's a very honorable thing. But you know, there comes a time when if the political class let down the population, what does the population do? Under our constitution, those freedoms are guaranteed under Article 37. And so, Kenyans have the freedom to still go back to the streets. And we hope this time, if that happens, particularly if this aggression continues against the basics, the basics in our constitution, then Kenyans should be allowed to do what is in the best interest of this country. Uh, we remember our number one clarion call was Garama Yamaisha. If Jeremiah Kion was here, I'll remind him. His name was uh, Mutua Madhuburia. He's <laughs> carrying, and people would laugh at him and say, what, what in the world are you trying to demonstrate? Now, we need to tell Kenya Kwanza that revolutions begin sometimes in the streets, sometimes in quiet places. Therefore, if this document is not adopted on the basis as it is, we will then tell them that the bona fides are wanting. A good, there's no good intentions on their part. And we saw, for example, an attempt, and I must thank Stuart Matzayo. But Stuart, forgive me, I, I called you Zakayo when I came in. <laughs> You know, if you, if you read the poetry, you can see closeness of Zakayo and Mazayo. <laughs> but Stuart, uh, by the way, this is becoming our national anthem, Zakayo Shuka. Because when we call uh, our, our, our friend governor, a former governor like Kipia, and one of our foremost economists, you begin to see that this is becoming actually now a clarion call, Zakayo Shuka. And, and you know he said, on a, light scale, on a light note, he said, what is there in the name? 
Oh, there's everything in her name. This Sakao Shuka thing is becoming a Kenyan national anthem. Uh, so, Stuart, thank you for the remarks that you made. You tried to stem the hemorrhage at the Senate. Uh, an attempt to even declare as Miola Moja, one Kenya, uh, as uh, not being part of what we discussed. So, <laughs> you, you did well. And, and then they went back to what was originally published. You must stick to that. By the way, I must remind honorable members that it, this, this is happening at your own request. Remember when we met at uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga uh, Foundation offices, uh, some members felt left out. And so it's important that as we move out of this meeting today, everybody will feel encouraged to have useful input to the legislation before Parliament, before both houses, the National Assembly and the Senate. Um, and so allow me then to also <laughs> tell you uh, the reason I believe this is becoming a national anthem and, and uh, Omwami or my friend uh, uh, Ambetsa or Paranya has told you clearly in his mind and he's also an economist, he's been minister for uh, planning, he knows these things, that you have to prepare yourselves to vote a big no. We know this finance uh, bill 2024 is receiving public participation. And it happened the same way. Finance Bill 2023, public participation, over 93, 90% of Kenyans, then 98% said no. Then they went on to implement the very unfortunate taxes. And now you know, we went to the streets. As a coalition, we are ready to go back to the streets if that is what it takes. And I hope you are bold enough. I hope you are bold enough if they now go and, and, and cause aggression again on public participation. And there are professionals talking about this. Just imagine uh, bringing heavy taxation on bread. Uh, even the little children who have just gone to school will not enjoy their, 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 <laughs> uh, their bread uh, with a bit of uh, blue band. They will not. So, be ready, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, if you feel a little weak, spiritually, that you don't think you can withstand another round of demonstrations, then go eat something strong. We need you. <laughs> we need you. And this country needs you. So that is uh, my word of encouragement today. So, of course, we'll be hearing from the economists their perceptions about uh, finance bill 2024. May I conclude by uh, making mention um, of really making some supporting comments on what has happened in the National Assembly with regard to the fake fertilizer scandal. This will not go away. This one will not go away. How many of you believe it won't go away? Because it can if we're in a democracy and we allow the fake fertilizer scandal just because Linturi has been let, left off the hook, let off the hook, by the, the drafters of the constitution should have put it differently, like happens in the Senate, that you get those hearings because there was a possibility of overrunning the recommendations of the 11 member committee. And we thank our teams because they saw this happening and they walked out. So the product that... Uh, came out of the 11 member committee is really uh, shrouded in, in, in uncertain, not uncertainty. Nobody believes it. Kenyans do not believe it. And so, Kenya Kwanzaa in a, in a catch-2022. If they think they've gotten away with this one, they haven't. Because the country is watching. Wait until there's a shortfall in uh, the expected harvest levels because of the fake fertilizer. And if you think you can just refund somebody, their little whatever they spend on, uh, on buying the fake fertilizer, and that's it, please remember the environmental damage. <laughs> because <laughs> unless you go and use other things now to reclaim your one acre, 
where you planted the unfortunate substance, um, you may not be able to make headway in terms of expected harvest levels. We have heard from Dr. Nett that food prices in Kenya are the same level as Germany, and everybody knows the high cost of living is still here with us. Finally, I want to urge a spirit of solidarity within the coalition. One of the very key things that we negotiated was a need to amend the constitution itself to make it clear that if you are elected on an ODM ticket and then you are bought off like chicken in the supermarket, <laughs> all right, and you think your people are not watching, if you feel strong and popular enough, the best thing to do is to expect after you have gone through the motions, because it is all there, I think on Article 103, is it 103 of the Constitution, we need that amended, it is clear. So after that, of course, there must be a by-election. So that we can also stop this hemorrhage and what we call, uh, uh, that, under that particular heading, fidelity to multi-party democracy. It doesn't make sense to cheat the population. And Kenyans have come of age. Clearly they have. Because I'm sure all of us will be witness of the fact those, for example, who will have been uh, um, compromised and by the system, given goodies, sometimes 100,000 shillings, we are told, and then you sell your soul for a song. Kenyans are watching, and they are so unpopular, and we know them. We know them. And I think our colleagues in ODM were the first to suffer that kind of consequence. And, 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 and I'm sure that today, given a chance, they'll come back running. So let's be ready. Let's be ready. So I, I want to stop there. Um, and, and, and really, I don't know who is the next. Uh, we, I, I also want to I actually recognize advocate Njiru Ndengwa. Dengwa. He doesn't that look very tall, but the man is very tall in the head. <laughs> uh, he's done very well, done a lot of pro bono matters, uh, including appearing with me in defense of aggression against former governor of uh, Moranga, our brother Mwango area. So we will be ready. We will, we will fight every inch, every inch as we move forward. So I want to encourage you. If you want to be on the right side of history, then don't, don't even imagine you can, you can, you can walk uh, in an opposite direction uh, from what your colleagues are trying to do. Because then uh, you will stand strong and tall. Um, I, I think that it's an economic team. I'll, I'll hand over, give the, to the master ceremony the microphone to take us through. But please remember, and those keep on, who keep on coming, please remember this is your session because you wanted to be brought on board uh, so that everybody will say yes, we were fully briefed on the NADICO report. May God bless you. Thank you. And bless our country.